Congratulations on this film. I wish that I could be speaking to you in person, but this is the next best thing. Um, wonderful, wonderful movie. Uh, I, I'm, I am a huge fan of Irish cinema no matter what. So I was very excited about watching this film. Um, and I want to ask you, start off by asking you, what was the initiative? What, what got you thinking about this storyline and, and you wanted to start writing it? Yeah, well, I guess this film came about in a way that was very unusual where I cast it first before I had an idea. Wow, okay, so you <laughs> met with the girls. Okay, so over a, pint, girls. over a pint of Guinness, I, I, from what I understand? Yes, now I have to say we did have a cup, a cup of tea to begin with. It was very civilized, but you know, when Nika and Nora Jean met for the first time, it was like, holy God, it was just like, it was like seeing a yin and a yang just kind of connect. And it was literally five hours and I was like, wow, 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 wow. So then we went off, we knew we were making something. So we had some celebrate with a pint of Guinness. And we made, a, we made a real soul commitment that we were going to make something together. And um, I think those moments come along in life and they're quite rare, but you know that some, you've just hit something very special. And it was one of those days. And of course you hang on to that feeling, you know, we hung on to that feeling for many years and then to have made the film was incredible. Um, but yeah, I guess coming, coming about how to make the film, what, what it was the energy, it was the energy of the two girls and their ability to be both fierce and vulnerable, which I think is a, you know, it's opposite ends of the scale and it takes a lot of courage to access either one of those. And we committed to like making fierce, courageous women at the center of a story and a, a sibling bond made sense and we began researching you know stories about real stories that had happened sisters and and i guess not wanting to spoil too much like the there was a, a central scene within the film that was inspired by a real event with two sisters who had a shared psychosis now this shared psychosis um what actually happened, it was quite startling and almost existential to watch when we seen the documentary. And for us, it was a case of how not to sense as like to, to kind of um, sensationalize that moment, but how to, how to get to the heart of how something like that could happen. What could cause two sisters who would, would would go to the ends of the world for each other to put their own lives in 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 at risk and that really became a journey of like um understanding what psychosis is so we were fortunate enough that we had a funder through the welcome trust and screen ireland who really came on board that process and the producers and we began a a, a real kind of in-depth year of research and speaking to psychiatrists psychologists we even spoke to two sisters who had a shared psychosis and that was really, it was a moment of awakening because it was the level of nuance that we realized it's quite complex. And like for a big key f uh, understanding for us was realizing with psychosis, the past becomes present. And that for us was a massive unlocking because we realized we needed to know every single detail about these girls that led up to their life before we could tell their present. So we began doing research and, and, and actual physicality workshops and trying to get them like a, a sister-like bond, but also to understand the level of energy that these sisters would require. Right from our very first day, we didn't have a script. We didn't have a plot, but we, I used Patti Smith's song, Horses. And I was like, right, you need to match the energy of this song. And boy, did and, they ever. Yeah. Uh -huh. And do you know that first day, pretty much what they did in the bar is very, very similar to that first workshop five years ago. That scene will stick in my head for seriously the rest of my life. I, I just uh, just talked to Nora, Nora Jane about it. Uh, that scene, that dance scene was freaking incredible. Wow. I actually felt like I wanted to get up and start dancing. What a, like can, a, you imagine, can you imagine what that's going to be like the first time we're in a cinema? Yeah. Yeah. No, honestly, I can't wait for people to get back and, and put their bums in seats and see this yeah. on, on a big screen, because honestly, and then you get to work with these two dynamic, amazing actresses who, to me, not only felt like they were 
tight friends, but they really were sisters. Like Absolutely. they were unbelievable together. You must have been standing on the sidelines watching these girls going, thank God. <laughs> You, you gotta remember, we were we were working over years, and you know, at one stage, myself and Nika lived together. You know, we did a TV series together, Can't Cope, Won't Cope. So, we're like, we were all like that. Yeah. In fact, we didn't realize how much of a tight bond we all had when we got to set, and we were like pretty much like electric between us. And people would stand back and be like, "Whoa," <laughs> you know. So. But to sit, I, do you know what? The big turning point for the crew, I remember, I think we would have shot the dance scene maybe the first day for a second week. And I, I could see everyone go, oh, I get it. I get what your film is about now. And what, what I think is incredibly special about Wildfire, it is character driven, like more so maybe than, you know, it's not cookie cutter plot, uh, you know, here's prescription plot. It's so nuanced that you, will journey with these characters and kind of go in directions that you didn't quite expect. And it may not always service, you know, what we think filmmaking is, but actually what it does is it services the characters, it services the truth of that place and what mm. it means to come from a place like that, which is very unique. Absolutely. And then, you know, you talk about your close bond with these, with these ladies. And then this, this release of this film is so, bittersweet because of the passing of Nika. I, you know, 33 years old, she had such a future ahead of her. And like, I'm watching this movie knowing, you know, and, and just tears are streaming down my face. And I can't even imagine what the challenges for you have been like. And, and, and you're probably still in disbelief about this. Oh, totally. It's, it's um, I mean, it was it was so fast it was so fast as well and like you know i was you know i was midway through picture picture edit you know and and um it it's um it was it was i took some time off before i came back to the film and that was incredibly important because like it was just so shocking you know moments like that is so shocking like she was the most one of the brightest stars I knew in my life. So you, you, you don't ever imagine, you, you know, someone who's that vivid could disappear. But equally, because I knew how vivid and how special she was, I had to carry on. I had to. I had to. Because, you know, she gave everything to that film. And Nora Jean as well. And, you know, it's a, you can see it in the film, oh. you know, and, um, you know, I, I believed in her so, so much. And I, I, you know, I am so lucky that I, I got to work with her twice. I got to do a TV series with her and I got to do my first feature with her. And I think, wow. Um, and you know, it's been incredibly hard. And, um, but you know, we, we, we got word that we got into Toronto on her anniversary. And that made me go, and she's still with us. Yeah. Yeah. And she always will be. Like I say, this performance, well, it, it, she's brilliant. People will never, ever forget her. And, and thank you for giving us her and letting us see her in this way, because I get all chucked up and thinking about it. Like she's, uh, anyway, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Really, really is. I have to say, um, you know, as I said to you earlier, I, I love Irish filmmaking. I, I, you know, my son is actually studying at UCD right now. Good he's, man. Yeah, he's, he's studying veterinary medicine. Uh, so my first trip to Ireland was two years ago and I cannot wait for this pandemic to be over because I want to come back so badly. Um, it's just such an amazing country and I fell in love with it like that. And I have so much more to see. But I want to ask about how you feel about the future of filmmaking in Ireland and, and what is that looking like? You know, I, I, I just, uh, I, I hope, I hope there's more. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, um, I'm definitely not an expert to like talk about it, but I guess from my own experience, um, Ireland is such a rich place for storytellers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's in our blood. So I think there is 
there is always an innate ability to tell a good story. And I think, um, you know, we have, we have a really good setup through Screen Ireland and Northern Ireland Screen. And, you know, especially Screen Ireland, they come on board this film when it was just an idea. And that takes confidence to go, right, we're going to trust this. We're going to see this through. And, you know, it's, it's more of that. It's more of kind of going, there is ways, different ways of telling stories. And we still get to the same place. Do you know, we still find those authentic, you know, brave, bold characters, you know, and that are charming. And, uh, but I think there's, I think there's a real, um, there's a real sensibility as well as realizing that maybe the female viewpoint has been overlooked for a number of years and there's a real encouragement and there's great initiatives happening now um, in Ireland that really is finding that talent, supporting that talent and following through. Yeah, and, and, and again, kudos to Tiff, you know, uh, th there's so many female directors being featured in this particular festival, which is so fabulous. And, you know, you included, of course, and, and, and these films are just wonderful. And it's great that these female directors are finally getting this voice, you know, maybe we'll see you at the Oscars, like hopefully, you know, I mean, honestly, but I, I you know, for you, who, you know, which female director did you maybe look up to or take, take something from to become such a great director yourself? I mean, this is a spectacular feature debut, I have to tell you. Oh, you're very kind. Um, I guess, you know, uh, I'm a huge fan of both Andrena Arnold and Lynn Ramsey, and they're a Ability. Like, I think they both have this incredible ability to tell really visceral stories with, uh, that are very character central. And um, there was something about the confidence in their voice and vision that really inspired me to trust your instinct, trust the moment, know that what happens in the moment is often more than enough. Um, and they have that in their work. They have incredible sense and capturing of moments. Uh, and, and that was definitely really inspiring, both in their shorts and their features to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I say, you've done such an incredible job at this movie. I can't say enough about it. I haven't stopped talking about it. And another Irish film you need to check out. I watched the animated one, Wolf Walkers. I don't know if you've seen it yet. I um, think you get to see it. Yeah, well, well, it, I, think, I think it might be on a London. So uh, hopefully you get to see it then. Yeah. Um, another virtual screening, dear God. But uh. Another beautiful, you know, fo Irish folklore storytelling and the animated. And I, I think we're going to see that for like, best animated film. You're just a small little country <laughs> you know but it's packing a punch yay ireland i'm so happy i tell you i'm so happy that my son is there and enjoying the you know enjoying the life there but uh, again thank you so much for your time today in this beautiful beautiful film and uh, i hope to see you back at our film festival in person so that we can meet up and then we can share a guinness in person there you go oh my god absolutely long overdue <laughs> absolutely have uh, have a great rest of your day and uh, thank you so much for your time oh you're, you're so welcome thank you for your time today kathy appreciate it all right okay, okay. have a good one bye-bye bye-bye bye-bye